Following the announcement that the DP and SMI will unite to offer a joint candidate for the upcoming election in Tirana, they have begun issuing accusations against the current mayor, Arion Veliai, a representative of the Socialist Party. The President of Kosovo has requested support from the diplomatic missions in Kosovo to deal with the oppositional attitude from Kosovar politics in regards to the exchange of territories between Kosovo and Serbia. Travelling to deliver the results of the tourist season, Eddie Rama visited Vlora to highlight the work needed to increase cleanliness, promising the sewage centre will be operational for the next season. Good evening, it's six o'clock on Saturday, the 1st of September, 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. One day after the Democratic Party chair, Lul Zimbasha, made statements that the United Opposition will offer a joint candidate for Tirana's upcoming elections, the Blue Headquarters has begun making accusations against the current mayor of the capital, Arion Veliai. Democratic Party spokeswoman Ina Jupa has accused Veliai of concluding the concretization of the artificial lake park. She added that the number of construction permits being issued has now reached record figures. The plan to concrete over the lake park has been approved in detail, including towers for office spaces, apartments and parking lots, ready for implementation, said Ino Jupa. Earlier, the Democratic Party MP Albana Vokshi accused Mayor Veliai of misappropriating taxpayers' money, as according to her, the money coming from the water supply does not go towards drinking water, but buying electric cars. 86 tenders of 260, or one in three tenders, are determined without an application process. The value that would be spared if there was a regular race, according to the law, is 2.4 million euros. But the cost of luxury is even more scandalous. 73 tenders of 260, or 12.7 million euros, go directly towards the luxurious and comfortable lifestyles of Arion Veliai and UKT managers. Arion Veliai has money from the water supply, but instead of investing it into the capital's water supply, he recently bought five electric cars, said Albana Vokshi. In alliance with Lul Zimbasha, SMI chair Monika Kuramadi has stated that the opposition will be united for both the local elections and in creating a platform to get Albanians out of the crisis. All schools across Tirana will soon offer opportunities for students to learn the game of chess. Mayor Arion Veliai, while attending the 6th International Francophone Chess Festival, emphasised that this project aims to publicise this mental sport, which provides excellent opportunities for strengthening the functioning of the brain. It is very nice that young people are getting more involved with physical sports like basketball, football, volleyball, but exercising the mind is equally important. Therefore, I look forward, together with the chess president, Edward Schalsi, to designing a program for all our schools as a fantastic opportunity for young people to pursue chess courses in community schools, said Arion Veliai. 32 chess players from 22 countries around the world participate in the international tour. Mayor Veliai, from his part, praised the organisers while underlining the commitment to the reception of such activities in the future. I am very happy today that Tirana has become the host of the Francophone Chess Festival. I thank the organisers and above all our chess president, our friend Edward Chalsi, who has turned Tirana into the chess capital in recent days. I'm very enthusiastic about the potential we have, not only to create international activities, but to have a daily engagement, especially young people and children, with chess, said Arion Veliai. The mayor added that this beautiful tradition launched by Prime Minister Eddie Rama and Edward Chalsi in the year 2000 is still in the new administration. Therefore, Mayor Veliai said he intends to return this championship to an annual station. After failing to reach the consensus of political parties in Kosovo, President Hashim Thaci has requested the support of the diplomatic corps accredited in Pristina for correcting the borders with Serbia. The head of state during a meeting with EU diplomats, KFOR, OSCE, ULEX and the Embassy of the United States, said that if they did not have a bilateral agreement with Serbia, stability could be compromised in the Kosovo region. It's time for a great historic deal between the two states. We cannot go back. We cannot stay in the country or get settled. We have nothing to wait for because the stagnation and the wait in resolving the relations between Kosovo and Serbia is precisely a call for tension and destabilisation, for big problems, not just between us, but across the entire region, said Hashim Thaci. 
Thaci, Thaci warns the ambassadors that political factors in Kosovo and Serbia are opposing this agreement. However, to stop progress in this direction is to stop the dialogue between Pristina and Belgrade, which will likely cause a recourse of unfathomable directions. I know it will be a very difficult process to make the deal. There are strong opponents here and Kosovo and also in Serbia. I know that this whole process carries many risks and, there, and that there are many unknowns. There is no greater risk to Kosovo than to continue to stay in a state of suspense, either as a state or as a society, explained Hashim Thaci. A meeting between the Kosovo president and his Serbian counterpart, Aleksandar Vucic, will take place on September 7 in Brussels under the mediation of the EU foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini. A load of 55 tonnes of wheat flour coming from Kosovo and Serbia has been blocked by the National Food Authority. It has been learned that during inspections conducted at the Marina Customs Point, there were two subjects attempting to import wheat flour originating in Kosovo and Serbia into the Republic of Albania. An analysis of the flour determined that the flour derived from Kosovo had protein levels lower than that which is acceptable for bread production. An analysis was carried out by the laboratory of the National Food Authority in Duras on the 30 tonnes of wheat flour arriving from Kosovo. Through this analysis, it was determined that, as fact, the protein levels of this product were both lower than stated in the documentation, as well as lower than the allowable rate for bread production. Specifically, according to laboratory ex examinations, the level of protein was 11.37%, 11.44% and 11.5%. Meanwhile, in the documentation of analysis accompanying the product, the protein level was 12.08%, while the product's packaging was marked 13%, informed to the National Food Authority. The other 25 tonnes of wheat flour from Serbia did not comply with the accompanying documentation as the analysis report did not have a production or expiration date. Moreover, the protein level stated in the analysis report of 12.74% was different from that which was labelled on their packaging at 9.5%. Immediately, the National Food Authority blocked the load of 55 tonnes based on the legislation in force and followed the customs procedures for the goods to be returned to their origins. Prime Minister Eddie Rama told Flora's residents that the tourist season that is now coming to a close has been the cleanest and most disciplined so far. Rama highlighted the work that remains to be done for cleanliness and promised that next year the city's sewerage processing centre will operate. It has been very dirty and we are very dirty, but there was a greater commitment to keeping it clean. Next year, we hope to begin work on the construction of the sanitary field before the season. We will have final answers to the issue of waste collection and treatment in Vlora. The entire coastal line within the city should turn into a coastal line that is used not only in August, but by many throughout the entire summer period, said Eddie Rama. Speaking of major infrastructure projects within the city of Vlora, Rama did not forget to mention the fear bypass, expressing his hope that it is completed prior to the arrival of the next season. We had to break the contract completely and do everything from the beginning with the European Bank for Development. Now the process has begun and we hope that within a few weeks the bank's final answer will come, the contract signed and next season find the bar pass open, if not completely completed. In this way we will complete the connection with Vlora, said Eddie Rama. During the meeting the Prime Minister Rama also took the opportunity to praise Vlora's lifeguards for the work they have done to improve safety on our country's shores. The 16-kilometre road between Lynn and Pogradets has now been completely reconstructed. Minister of Infrastructure and Energy Damian Jignouri, together with the Director of the Albanian Road Authority, Afrim Chendro, inaugurated the completion of the works, pointing out that the axis provides all elements of security. This is a Category C1 road with all the elements for road safety, decorative elements, lighting and a pavement. This was a very special project due to the asset of the lake that we have. The pavement starts in Lin and ends in Pogradets. It is a road that has all the parameters and very good quality work, with pedestrian underpasses and all elements of road safety, said Afrim Chendro. Minister Jignori also emphasised the action of cleaning the lake's shores from illegal constructions. If we turn our head back a few years ago, this lake view that is over 16 miles was totally different. A narrow, demolished street and a lake completely occupied by illegal buildings. Today we are talking about a shore of a completely transformed lake and one of the most beautiful projects. 
Anyone who comes to Pogradets will see that it is a city that has many tourist attractions. Now they will also see one of the most beautiful stretches of road ever realised in our country. This will be the standard of, of the Albanian government for all the new roads and sites in the next three to four years of our governance, said Damian Jiknuri. Jiknuri and Cendro then inspected another continuing infrastructural upgrade, that of the one kilometre long panoramic tunnel at the entrance to the city of Pogradets. <coughs> I certainly enjoyed my recent visit to Pogradets, but that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and have a lovely weekend.